First off, there's no risk to IVF in this country. That is wholly false. Back in February of this year, the Alabama State Supreme Court issued a statewide ruling declaring that frozen embryos created through in vitro fertilization should be classified as living beings. All 49 Republican senators, along with President Trump, support IVF. Once again, utterly false. I don't know how the American people can't see through you. You guys are literally transparent. 44 out of 49 of those MAGA Republican senators literally just voted against this act that would have imposed federal protections for IVF treatment and access, guaranteeing the rights of individuals to make their own reproductive decisions regarding IVF treatment. And three MAGA Republicans didn't even bother to show up on the vote, including J.D. Vance, by the way. In order for this bill to have been passed, it needed 60 votes in the affirmative. But Republicans blocked the bill. No state restricts or bans IVF. Well, again, the state of Alabama would have if a lawsuit wouldn't have revoked it. Also, isn't that the exact point of passing a protections bill in the United States Senate to prevent it from being banned in a state before it is already banned in a goddamn state? The justification that Republicans tried to make and their excuse for striking down the bill was because Republicans proclaimed that Democrats only proposed this bill for a show vote, which is as absolutely preposterous as it gets. No, Democrats propose this bill because IVF treatment is in peril in many states across America. Since Donald Trump's hand-picked Supreme Court justices overturned Roe v. Wade back in 2022. Anyone with basic mental acuity knows damn well that these MAGAs do not support IVF treatment. And their voting record demonstrably shows if they did, why not just simply cast your vote on the Senate floor to uphold these freedoms when given the suitable opportunity to. That way, so in the future, further restrictions on IVF treatment can't become law and IVF access can't be dampered on in any state. This is the MAGA Republican Party for you in a nutshell. They can't walk the walk how they talk the talk. They've become so extreme that they can't even vote yes to pass a bill that they insist they support.